There's a tornado in my city. Am I even in focus? What's up everybody? Welcome to the Split Seed where the moment is right now. My name is Jenny and it has been a hot freaking second since I got on here to make a video and I'm very happy to be back. But since it's been a while, I am going to do just a collective sort of thrift haul slash styling some of my favorite pieces that I have collected over the past few months or so. And all of these things, like I said, are some of my favorite items that have come into my life recently. And they're also things that I haven't gotten a chance to really properly like appreciate and style and enjoy since I got them. So I'm excited to do that today. So the first thing is this really weird sort of little satchel style bag and I made a video this past fall that I'll link right here if you guys haven't seen it but in that video I talk about how lately I've just been really into this category of bags and purses where it is just weird in some way. It either has an interesting shape or a weird texture or a weird pattern and this completely fits that category like so so well. Plus I really like the color combination of it. I am a black and brown stan and I think that brown and black should be paired together as often as possible so I just really love the black fuzzy portion of this with the little brown pieces interspersed in there. And then the rest of the bag is this woolly felt sort of material that I really, really like too. The bag is obviously handmade. There's no tag or anything inside of it. Um, so I always like to find handmade pieces in the thrift store too. And I appreciate the people who make these like so, so much. It's just so fun to find like people's creations. And the strap of the bag is pretty long, so you can wear it either off to the side or crossbody. I think I kind of prefer it crossbody just because then the shape and the texture of it are even more like pronounced in the outfit, which I think is really cool. So I think I did a good job here of keeping the bag like the statement of the whole look. I love the way it contrasts with the camo shirt, but in like a really cool way, just mixing the patterns and the patchwork and the jeans and some funky jewelry. I love these chunky gold hoops. And overall, I give this outfit like an eight and a half. The next item I have to show is this really adorable free people dress. I love how the shape of it is just so voluminous and adds so much interesting shape into an outfit. And it's just like, creates a silhouette that is a little bit unexpected. The bottom of the skirt has this really cute pleated ruffle detail. And then I really like the fade and the wash of the denim too, how it is just really worn in and comfortable and kind of has this faded look to it. Oh my gosh, I love this outfit so much. Like the volume of this little dress is just everything to me. And I don't, I, I tried to like do a lot of pattern mixing again, but it's all in a similar colorway with the Southwestern style crop jacket, the striped uh, shirt, and then the boots have a similar purple tone and the hat has a skull pattern on it, which is so different, but it's still like vibes. I don't know, this outfit is like a nine for me. The next thing I wanna show is this super cute little green checkered scarf that has a dog pattern on it. Green is one of my absolute favorite colors. It is like a base color in my closet. So anytime I find a piece that is primarily green, but also has like, a fun whimsical element to it. I just can't pass it up. And yeah, I just, I think this is so cute and I'm not really sure how I'm gonna style it yet, but I kind of want to play around with maybe giving it a little bit of volume at the collar or something like that. So we'll see what happens. I don't know you guys. I think I am just like hitting bangers today because look at this outfit. I genuinely love it. The sheer dress 
over these like really casual um, kind of baggy cargo jeans. I tried to do the striped blue in the socks, which matches the blue tones in the shirt and the skirt. And then obviously like the statement moment is this dog bow. And I just think this looks so cool. I'm proud of myself. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I am, I like having a burst of creative energy today. This outfit is a 10. So there is a little bit of a theme that I'm realizing in all of these pieces that I'm showing today. And that is that they're all kind of like statement pieces. And this next one might be like the most statementy statement of them all. And it is a vintage like tapestry style paisley overcoat. It is the brand CMC and it was made in USA and it just has the most beautiful brown color palette that I've ever seen in my life. There's a little bit of purple tones woven into the pattern as well and especially on the inside of the coat is a purple color but overall on the outside it is just the richest most beautiful brown and just like green I also love brown that also makes up the base of a lot of my outfits so this is just a one of a kind thing that I am so grateful and happy to have. I have loved every single outfit that I've put together in this video so far, but this is one of my favorites. I don't, there's something about like the casual jean and like that ridiculous bear t-shirt paired with this overcoat and the more sleek boots, like a super vintage bag and a beanie. And then I have this really um, cool crystal necklace with my green. This is like, this is more than a 10, this is an 11. The next item is this little vintage Y2K pink tank top. It's the brand Skinny Mini and is actually really similar to the top I'm wearing now in that kind of maximalist style with the graphics and the writing and the little rhinestones and just the combination of all of it coalesces into this perfect little top that anytime I see a shirt like this, depending on what like, the theme of it is, I have been picking these up more and more often lately when I come across them. The theme of this one happens to be bicycles. This is another outfit that I love so much and I think it's really cool how the pink tank top is the pop of color. Uh, I really also like how everything else in the outfit is black and white but different patterns. So. Uh, the little like celestial sleeve with the floral skirt. I have these kind of dumb looking Skechers sneakers and a vintage coach bag. And I put my hair up for this one. I think it just looks better that way. And I'm sorry, but this is another 11. Okay, next I'm gonna show a jewelry piece that I came across and it's actually in its original box, which is Big Sky Silver. I found this in the glass case, like at the cash register at my local thrift store. And I always try and stop and remember to look in the glass cases because even if like you think that the stuff in there is gonna be like more expensive than you wanna pay, at least in a lot of places I find that they're still like so incredibly good price. They just put them in there so obviously nobody steals them. So I got this beautiful necklace for only $3.99. It came with all its original packaging and still has the little card on the inside which says that this necklace is woodland turquoise and 100% uh, silver with the chain and the metal parts. It has these super cute little pine cone details on the main stone and then also on the back clasp has a little pine cone too. And like I said, it says that it is woodland turquoise as the stone. So it's not very often that I like try and style an entire outfit around one small piece of jewelry, but that's what I tried to do with this. So really my goal was to make the green of that turquoise stone and the necklace kind of pop out based on the other green tones in the outfit. So I chose this cool floral blazer for the green tones that really match the necklace. Uh, the same thing with these socks. I wanted to bring out more green and I've just been loving like mixing different vibes and styles and patterns. This super like grungy bag. 
I feel like the whole outfit is giving like I play bass in a really cool band and I think I did a good job of really highlighting the color in the necklace and I would give this outfit a solid nine and a half, honestly. And then I have another statement bag that I found. It's another handmade piece that was knitted or crocheted. I'm sorry, I don't know the difference between the two, but either way, again, I appreciate the craftsmanship of this so much and think it's so pretty. Uh, usually I don't gravitate towards like reddish colors, but every once in a while, if it's the right tone and I'm like feeling it, I get into it because it adds like a fun little pop of color against all of my more typically like neutral toned wardrobe. So again, this one doesn't have a tag or anything on the inside. It is definitely handmade. Uh, and I just think it is very, very unique and special. So my goal with this outfit was obviously to have the bag really stand out and be that pop of color, but I wanted to keep it really playful and still mimic the tones in the bag. So I chose this t-shirt with a little bit of red on it. I have these flames on my socks that are almost exactly the same color as the bag. And then my sunglasses and this little beaded necklace I chose also have some of these orangey red colors in it too. And again, like the contrast of these patterned trouser pants with the graphic tee, the casual jean jacket with these checkered vans, like again, it's just freaking cool and I like it. And then I did pick up this pair of black lug sole boots that are the brand Sorrel. And they're just like, honestly, in such amazing condition. It looks like they have hardly ever been worn and they really give that chunky, like not really platform feel. Like honestly, they kind of remind me of like a Doc Martin look, which I don't own any Doc Martens. I don't really care that I don't own Doc Martens. Like I'm not gonna go out of my way to get any. Um, plus I feel like I've heard from some people that like the newer Doc Martens aren't as good as the vintage ones and that they're not always very comfortable. So I think these like do the same job as a pair of Docs does, but these are actually like so comfortable, so well made in like how watertight they're gonna be for where I live here where it's literally like snowing in front of my eyes in the window right now. So anyways, I know I'm ranting and raving about these like simple black boots, but they're like brand new and fit me perfectly. And at my thrift store locally that I go to, like praise the thrifting gods because my local thrift store is still such a gem. Their prices are still like, so good and so low. So um, all of their shoes are priced at like 275, I think. So I got this pair of amazing boots for 275 and I am forever grateful to my local thrift store. So if you're watching, thank you, I appreciate you. I don't really think that I have a whole lot to say about this outfit just because my goal was to really like style these boots and you can style black boots in almost literally any outfit, but I still like what I came up with here. I think the boots like definitely add a lot to the outfit compared to another shoe. So I give myself like a B plus. Okay, this next thing is just so adorable and so cute. And it is this little button up top, but what makes it special is the pattern on it. It is a vintage shirt, I'm guessing from the 90s and it's 100% cotton and the brand is Erica & Co. I love the color palette of the pattern on this shirt and it's just this adorable little pattern of leaves and berries and acorns. And obviously it has a very, fall autumnal feel to it, which is totally my jam anyway, so I'm so happy about it. But uh, the reason I was really excited about this shirt, honestly, um, like I would wear it on its own and it would be really cute, like layered more um, where you can see the full shirt. But what I'm actually excited about is styling it to where just the collar is poking out of a different shirt because the collar has this really cute pattern on it too. And I wanna see if I can find a way to make an outfit where like this cute little pattern on the collar is like the highlight moment. 
I am happy with the way this one turned out too. I think my theory of having the collar of the shirt and the cuffs with the uh, flowery fall pattern sticking out really did work. I think it does draw a lot of attention to that pattern. I love the way the shoes go with it. The red stripe down the sleeve brings out the cherry tones in the shirt. Again, I put my hair up to really let that collar have a moment. This is another solid, like nine and a half outfit. And then last but not least, because I think this is like my favorite thrift find, definitely so far of 2024, it's only been two months, but like this is my favorite thrift find for the from the past six months or maybe even a year, I'm not kidding. So the last item that I'm gonna show you is this beautiful, beautiful brown leather blazer style jacket. I guess it's not exactly blazer style because it doesn't have like the lapels right here, but this is, oh my gosh, this is just like the most perfect leather coat I could have ever asked for in my entire life. I am fairly certain that this item is vintage. I'm not sure what year, um, but based on the feel and the quality, um, honestly, the smell, based on the smell of it, it like just smells like that good old leather. Um, and then also based on the tag, the brand says it's AR, a Bernardo fashion company. It does say made in China, but based on everything about the coat, it seems like a vintage piece. But if anybody else knows more about this label or the brand, or if you can tell from the look of the piece whether or not it is truly vintage or not, I would love to know. But either way, the way this coat fits me so perfectly is like one of the things that I am most in love with about it. I have tried a lot of leather coats and jackets and blazers like in my day, and for some reason, it's just never been something that I pull from my closet. And this one is just the perfect amount of loose and oversized, but it doesn't look like it's too big on me. I love, love, love the brown color of it. It is just so perfect in every, every way it could possibly be perfect. Okay, I am sad to report that my number one like favorite thing in this video this leather coat is paired with honestly like my least favorite outfit almost in the video i don't think it's a terrible outfit like i think it's cute i love this freaking horse purse and i love that little white dress i just like i feel like i look like i'm trying too hard <laughs> like and that's not really a thing you can even do. People should try as hard as you want to try and wear whatever you wear, but I don't know. Like I give this outfit only like a seven. Boo! So that is all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, I would super appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up and follow my channel if you like this video. I will put out more like it. I like to talk about thrifted fashion, styling thrifted outfits, art themed stuff and some interior home project style videos so if you're into any of that follow my channel split seed i would love to see you again and i hope you have a great rest of your day bye